Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I just want to say sorry for the lack of videos this week. I've been so, so busy with work. For those of you who don't know, I do work at a beauty counter full time. So sometimes I don't have time to upload as many videos or upload as many looks as I want to because I'm always, always busy and I do freelance on the side. So I'm like triple, double booked. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. This came out, oh my god, I had it upside down the whole time. But you guys know what it looks like. So, it's a little bit dirty, because I had previously filmed this video actually um, yesterday, but there was a problem with like my camera, I don't know what happened, so um, I had to like redo it. But um, I only tried two colors, no, three colors actually. I tried the white one, the yellow one, and the blue one, but I'm going to try those again today. Um, but as far as every other color, this will be my first impressions on the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and review. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on this palette and if you should get it or not and if it's worth it, then please keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so I've been super excited about this palette forever because it's funny because all the beauty counters like Sephora, Impulse, and Nordstrom, they're going to be receiving this, um, I think in March. So I thought it was coming out in March, but actually it came out like a week ago. So I went crazy and I went out and bought it because obviously like I'm a freelance makeup artist and I'm not even going to use this on clients to be honest. I just wanted it for myself. Like it's such a beautiful palette. When I saw it, um, I just, I went crazy because the only lip products that Anastasia Beverly Hills has is um, the liquid lipsticks. So... When they came out with this, I'm like, damn, not only did they come out with uh, cream lipsticks, they made a whole palette of cream lipsticks. So I was just like obsessed and I had to get it. And like I said, I did try, this is technically not a first impressions because I already did try primary number five, four, and one. I just, let me just say, I love it. I'm going to try those again today. So, um... I'm excited so let me tell you a little bit more about this palette so the palette retails for $48 on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website plus shipping I'm gonna read to you what um, the description says on the website yes my nails are like clickety click so it says an 18 well professional lip palette with shades ranging from primaries and neutrals to bold brights Use Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palettes to create an endless array of lip colors by mixing and customizing highly pigmented, long-wearing matte shades. So the whole palette is matte. Includes mixing palette and double-ended lip brush and spatula. Bold primary colors to mix, layer, and customize, wear alone or mix together. So I'm obsessed. So what you get with the lip palette is the spatula that's still in the little um bag thing because i don't really need it i'm not gonna the palettes for me i'm probably gonna get another one for my clients but um just so you guys could see it's just a regular Ooh. just so you guys could see it's just a little regular spatula that says anastasia on it which is really cute i'm actually gonna use this for like foundation and concealer when i don't want to do this because i'm always doing this and it's really ratchet but hello i'm a makeup artist obviously we're all gonna have swatches in our hands it's just the truth and then it also comes with um this little brush that comes with a spatula and a little tiny lip brush personally this doesn't work for me as you can see i tried to do the blue on here but um it doesn't work for me because it's too small i have like humongous lips so i'm gonna use instead my favorite lip brush of all time which is the morphe g12 brush this brush is like life alrighty so I'm only gonna swatch about 10 of these cuz um, I'm scared that I'm gonna like destroy my lips so I'm just gonna like swatch the ones that are really pretty and then obviously all the primary shades I'm gonna swatch every single primary shade so it's one two three four five six so I'm gonna swatch all six primary shades because I know everybody wants to see those and a little bit on um, some of some of the top ones here I know they all they're all gorgeous but they look very similar so I, my brush fell First, I'm going to go with number two, which is this really pretty mauve shade over here. So that's what number two looks like. I love it. It feels really, really good on the lips. It is not drying at all. It is completely matte. 
And it just feels like I'm not wearing anything. Oh my god. And it's kind of like transfer proof in a way. Not really. But it's kind of transfer proof. Then I'm going to go in with this beautiful coral shade over here. It looks gorgeous in the palette. I'm obsessed. That's the coral shade. I'm literally like obsessed. I think this is one of my favorite colors in the palette. Like, holy shit. Next, I'm going to go in with this purple over here. Let's see. Oh. I'm just so obsessed. Like, honestly. Anastasia did this one like to the T, bitch. They slayed my life. I'm obsessed. So this is the purple shade. Ugh. I'm literally like gagging. I uh, I just can't. This is such a beautiful color and it feels like you guys don't understand how it, it feels like I can't even talk. It feels like there's nothing on the lips. Like I feel like I have nothing on my lips, which I love because it's just uh, like it feels so nice on the lips. You guys don't understand. It's super creamy and it's um this one is not as transfer proof as the other ones. But hey, it's completely matte. I love that it's, yeah, there's no satin finish or anything. It's completely matte. I love it. Super pigmented. I'm obsessed. Now let's do the other six shades because my lips are gonna, you know, they're gonna die. So now I'm gonna start with the yellow shade over here. Okay. So that's the yellow shade. I will say um, it's not my favorite, but um, I could tell that yellow shades are a little harder to make in lipstick form. Um, I do like this a little bit better than the um, yellow lipstick from MAC, but um, it's okay. It's not, it's not like super pigmented, but it's nice. It's a nice color. Next, I'm gonna start with the white shade. Oh my God, I tried this and I'm obsessed. It's just to show you guys how pretty this color is. Oh my God. You see, it doesn't make sense. How is the yellow one not pigmented, but how is the white one super highly pigmented? Do you, like, look at this. Holy You guys, I love this. I don't know about you, but I know it looks like I ate powdered fucking donuts, but I love this. Oh my god. I tried to make it as white as possible because the white was mixing in with my foundation a little bit, so I tried to make it as white as possible, but girl, this is white. This color is perfect to mix with all the colors in the palette. If you want to make custom colors, if you want to make colors lighter, do an ombre lip, this color is perfect for all of that. And then I'm going to go in with the red shade over here. So that's the red shade. I love it. It's a beautiful dark red. Oh my god, I feel so sexy. I think this suits my skin tone a lot. And I think this is a color that could suit everyone's skin tone, so I'm obsessed with this red. Barely transfer proof. Barely. I overlined a little bit too much. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with this blue shade over here. Now, I'm going to try the blue shade. I already know how this is going to look like because I've swatched it already. So, I'm just going to do it for fun because you guys haven't seen it. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Fuck yes, bitch. Look at that. Oh, oh my god, yes. Yes, I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed.
Have you guys ever accidentally overlined your lips and then you don't want to clean it up so you just keep lining them and then you keep overlining and then you keep overlining and then you end up looking like a blow up doll? Well, that just happened to me right now. So I apologize. I'm not going to clean this up. I don't give a fuck because I'm going to take this shit off right after. But um, look at this pigment, guys. Look. Can we just take a look? Like, can we just praise this really quick? I'm totally obsessed. And finally, I'm gonna try the black shade on because I'm dying, dying to try this. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so my lips burn and I'm only gonna do one more shade. I can't do three others. I just, they burn and I don't want them to fall off. You know, because I spend a lot of money on my lips, so I don't want them to fall off. I'm just kidding, bitch. They're fucking real, so don't be trying to come for me. Um, they're real. My lips are real, whether you think they're not or you do. They're real. What I did notice is that if you mess up, girl, you mess up big time because it's such a creamy product that if you overline just the slightest, bye. So now moving on to the question of the day. Is this palette worth it? Should you get it? Yes, a thousand times yes. I don't understand why this palette hasn't sold out. I think it, not only is it a good palette for makeup artists and freelance artists, I think if you're a makeup artist and a freelancer, you need to have this palette. And even if you're a makeup enthusiast or if you're just someone starting out, this is awesome because you get to explore with all these different colors and mix them. They're amazingly like blendable and creamy. Um, they're super highly pigmented and they're matte. So they're super highly pigmented and they're matte, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy that they came out with this um, palette. It is amazing and I think everyone should get it. So uh, yeah, I am totally obsessed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any ideas that you want me to do, any looks that you want me to film, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. I love you guys so much and stay safe.